We're here with Sean Colin Young of Cage No More. And Sean, you have a couple different roles, some before, in front of, and then even behind. Yeah. Tell us about that. Story of my life, actually. <laughs> That's um, good, though. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's You're great. Like, I can act and I can also do everything else you need. <laughs> I just feel like anymore as storytellers, we should be multi multifaceted, you know, and, and our director, Lisa Arnold, is one of those people. You know, she's an actress, she can produce, she can write, she can direct, and I think for La Femme, like, those are the kind of artists that should be highlighted mm -hmm. and should be celebrated because, in my humble opinion, we need more female filmmakers. Mm -hmm. So, but um, in my regards to my role in the, in the film, um, I make a little cameo appearance with Loretta Devine and uh, have a great little role with that, and we kind of open nice. the movie and launch us into the story. Um, and then on top of that, I worked with some of the younger actors, mm -hmm. uh, specifically uh, Abigail Duhan, who plays one of the, the young children in the film, and work with talent in regards to finding truth of the moment and being really authentic and, and telling this story with as much uh, presence as possible. Now, this is a big theme, you know, being covered in a film. And from what I understand, uh, you've already shown it in to some uh, audience yeah. members. And, and what's been the feedback of, of them? The feedback has been phenomenal. It's just like when I read the script, I stood up, I cheered, I screamed. I was, you know, rooting for everybody. And the same thing has happened when we've shown it to audiences. I mean, people are like, no! And people are like, yes! And then, you know, the biggest yeah. thing that we've found is that in the film festivals, um, you know, a lot of people ask about budgets and how did you guys pull this off? Right. And people come up and they say, how can we get involved? You know, how can we be part of this fight? Because it's really important that we all bond together on this. And like Lisa said, we ended slavery once in one form, mm -hmm. and I think we can do it again with this because human trafficking is rampant. And we're, we, you can go into an airport and you're walking down the tarmac or whatever, and there's usually somebody who is right next to you right, who's right. being trafficked and you have no idea. So that's a good point, especially because, you know, I remember seeing an article that talked about watch the uh, uh, there are certain things to watch out for when you see certain oh, kids with with others. But, yeah. you know, you're bringing up a subject again that, you know, can be done in such a way and it has been done in such a way where, you know, it limits audiences. But you've been able to do a film that can encompass the whole family to go and see. Absolutely. Is that right? Absolutely. I mean, this film, unlike there's been a lot of great films that have dealt with this subject, but mm -hmm. With us in particular, we wanted to make sure that we could have a conversation with everybody, children, adults, across the board, because it is a conversation that you have to have very early on with your children. Mm -hmm. A lot of parents don't want to step into that world because they're like, you know, it's not happening. Mm -hmm. It is happening. Right. And so giving them the tools and having a film like this to start that conversation is what it's all about. That's why we're filmmakers, right? Yeah. That's why we're yeah. storytellers. Have conversations. Some are not, actually. Some are just, you know, let's That's just true. make fun and just, you know, I mean. a lot of money. Yeah, I mean, hey, nothing wrong with the X-Men of the world, but I'm just so. saying, you know, it's nice when you can tackle issues like this because what an impact and a legacy you leave, you know, for others to see and to discuss because, again, such a problem. But, you know, instead of talking always about the problem we talk about the solution and what are some of the solutions in this uh, well some of the solutions that I think we highlight in this film is partnering with organizations like H21 and other groups that are really involved um, you can go to cage no more movie.com and find out more ways how you can get involved with the organization sign up and and get updates on where we're headed and what we're doing so how can we find more information on this film you go to cagenomoremovie.com and you can find out ways how to bring the film to a theater near you. That's right. So you have the ability to bring this movie to your area. Go check it out and you do it. You hold the key. Yes. You hold the key. And you hold the key to so much more you don't even know. But go there, <laughs> get them, promote it on social media, do it all, okay, if you want to be involved. Come to the theaters January 15th. And spread it. Yes, spread like wildfire. Word. Yeah, like wildfire Twitter. Tweet. What what do people do? Instagram, Instagram Facebook, Facebook, Pinterest, <laughs> Pinterest. <laughs> all of it, all, all of it, and more. Oh, and forward this this one too. This yeah, film. Yeah, for, forward this along. <laughs> Thank you so very much. Thank you. Bye.